Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another video. And uh, we're going to talk about this situation that's going on with Aaron Rodgers. So, um, so I, I looked at something online, you know, Aaron Rodgers um, called out his wide receivers. And I really don't like what he did. This ain't going to be a long video. I'm get out your way, but. Um, he talked about how, uh, the young wide receivers was dropping, dropping a lot of balls. He also talked about the poor player, Jordan Love, you know, the first round quarterback they drafted last year. And, um, I'm going to say something real quick. Aaron Rodgers calls out people and, you know, Aaron Rodgers is not a leader. Aaron Rodgers has really came up short. He has really came up short. And it's just like... Four MVPs and... I get it. But... Outside that Super Bowl against the Steelers... 12 years ago... What has he done... In the NFL? But basically stat pad... They have, Aaron Rodgers has basically done nothing. I mean, he's a great quarterback. He's going to Hall of Fame. No, no not. But in big games, he don't show up. And I'm about to show you something. This man has lost four NFC Championship games. He lost. Well, he lost. Let me, let me, let me pull him up. He lost against, he lost against. The Seahawks, he, he got blew out twice by the Falcons and the 49ers, and he lost to the Buccaneers, you know, with, by Tom Brady. So, I mean, the whole point I'm trying to make is that that's not leadership. That's not leadership. He hates wide, young wide receivers. But you got to understand that these Wide receivers are very young and they're very inexperienced. Outside of Sammy Watkins, you know, which he won the Super Bowl with the Chiefs. Outside of that, they really have no experience at wide at the wide receiver position. But Aaron Rodgers, I think he's very weak. That he's always calling out people, but he never wants to own his own failures. Look at last last year. He lost to Jimmy G in the 49ers in and that, and that snow uh, NFC Divisional. He choked. He choked last year. He couldn't score. The, 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 the sad part about it is that the Green Bay Packers, they scored 10 points. This is supposed to be the number one seed in the NFC last year. And the 49ers basically sh shut him down. Ten points. He fails in the playoff all the time. But nobody calls him out on his bullshit. Excuse my French. But let's tell the truth. He choked. <laughs> Especially in that game against the um against the, the Buccaneers. And which I don't understand about that game. Why would you go for the field goal instead of going, for, instead of going for it on fourth down? Ooh. But Aaron Rodgers, um, he I know he he hates these wide receivers, but you gotta look at it this way too though that Devontae Adams, he made the right I think he made the right move because Derek Carr is younger he still has plenty of time to grow which I think he's a pretty good quarterback but I'm gonna need. Uh, Derek Carr to step up. I need for him to step up. But I think he has a... I think Devontae Adams is one of the greatest... Yeah, wide receivers in the, NFL right, in the NFL right now. He's the best wide receiver. Between him and Stephon Diggs, I think they're the two. And Cooper Cup, you got to put him in there too. But Devontae Adams is a stud. And I think the writing was on the wall. 
he knew that coming in this season that Aaron Rodgers is 39 years old. He knew he knew his time is limited. So and and the Raiders paid him a lot of money. So he made a lot of he went to the to the to um Las Vegas. So I think with this young wide receiving core, um I think the Packers are gonna struggle this year. Because you can't replace Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams has the best hands in the NFL. To me, he's the best wide receiver in the NFL right now. But so it's between him, Stefan Diggs, and Cooper Cup. Because, you know, Cooper Cup won Super Bowl MVP. But let me get on back to the video. The point I'm trying to make is that Aaron Rodgers has failed. His, NBA, his NFL career has basically, he's came up short and humiliated. And in big games, he chokes. But he never wants to own his own mistakes. Because last year was unexcusable to me. This guy is talking all this smack. But you you couldn't score. You scored, but you scored 10 points in a divisional round against the 49ers with basically no running back. Because they was, the 49ers was playing running back by committee last year. They had Debo Samuel. No disrespect to him, but he's a wide receiver playing running back. And you had a struggling Jimmy G last year. And you couldn't score but you couldn't they they couldn't and you can't score but ten points last year. But this is the same guy who choked in all these NFC championship games, but he's around here calling out people. I'm gonna need Aaron Rodgers to, to um to take a seat and sit down somewhere. You know, Aaron Rodgers has failed a lot in the playoffs. And I need for him to stop making excuses. And I need for him to step up. And I need for him to stop crying and whining and show some patience. That you have a lot of young wide receivers. That that you, you know, you're, you're a very iconic. I think Aaron Rodgers is a very iconic quarterback. But I think that he needs to just um, kind of help the young guys out. Instead of always putting them down and running to the media, I don't like that. That's not signs of a leader. Because outside of that, I think that what has he? I mean, I know I'm tired. Of, I know y'all tired of me saying this, but outside of the Super Bowl against the Steelers, what has he done? He's done nothing. But but underachieve, and he needs to own his own failures before he start jumping on people. Because he's a whiner. He's a prima donna. He's a baby. And I love Aaron. Aaron Rodgers is one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history. But he has he has failed in a lot of big uh, moments. You know what I'm saying? So I think Aaron Rodgers just need to have, have more patience with, this, with these young wide receivers. Because they are very young. But that's all I got to say. That's it. Deuces.